Right, hello everybody. Welcome to Replay Analysis uh, with v Patreon Replay Analysis with Nicholson. Super mega, no, no, Org Thrower, isn't it? Org Thrower level. <laughs> it's not super mega, it's, uh, it's, it is super, I don't know, whatever. Org Thrower, thank you very much, by the way. And, um, yeah, you're very welcome. And yeah, so looking at this game, um, Nicholson is the Chaos, and he's up against Orcs. And we're just trying to get it so that we can pause it. Okay, so, um, yeah, regarding team build, um, I personally always like to go Mighty Blow Claw, rush it, because it's basically your only hope against Orcs. This is a super hard matchup. So, like, Orcs particularly are a really hard matchup for Chaos, I find. Even if you've got the Claw Mighty, it's just that the Claw Mighty gives you an angle um, to work with against Orcs. You are faster than them, which is, like, the hardest advantage to capitalise upon. It's different with Elves because Elves are Agility 4 as well and generally have some dodge, so their movement is easier. Whereas, like, when humans' advantage is they're faster, it's not so good. <laughs> you know what I mean? And Chaos' advantage of being faster is, is not so good against Orcs when they're all armor 9 and you're all armor 8. And you've got, I mean, to be fair, you've got 3 Mighty Blow, but they've got a Pommer and a Mighty and 2 Guard. And they've start with four blocks <laughs> you've only got two block and it's just oh they've got and they've got a fifth block so that this this is the bad thing about chaos really this match is the bad thing about chaos so this this may not you know this may not reflect too poorly on your coaching ability <laughs> because i feel like this is a real real tough one yeah we shall see so uh, i i really try to 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 play as good positionally as i was able so that i would have some material to show cool. and see where I just don't understand the game properly. Right. Well, if I was him, I would have pushed him to the other side and got an extra follow-up block from the from the black orc there. So that was I'm not sure. Oh, and he's got an extra block on the black. So he's got six block. Um, I think the strength five protect it. Like you know, I like the rule of five, um, and I like the uh, warriors on the on the wings and. You could have just had a rookie beast man rather than the strength five, but it doesn't really matter. I don't think it matters which which one was there, and then the strength being there is makes it makes him unblitzable, so and puts him in the middle. So that's probably better. Maybe put the uh, might the other mighty blow on the other side, um, like put one of the mighty blows on the other side, so you'd have a mighty blow either side. That's like, uh, and I guess the tackle matters because he's got dodge on his thrower, so. Um, I guess the tackle does matter. So yeah, I would have probably put the blockless mighty blow on the other side, so that each side would have had a mighty blow, and one side had block and one side had tackle. <laughs> um, hello, Tony. Oh, sure, and <laughs> Mr. Throw. Oh, he's going for a foul. Frustrating if it works. Right, okay, well, pause it at the start of the turn and say, what is what are you trying to do here? Uh, like, what is your goal for this turn? Um, okay, I'm a little behind on the video. Okay, so now my turn starts. Um, I think I'll try to blitz on the uh, left side, the Black Orc, to get an extra block with the Block Mighty. So stand up the, uh, the Chaos Warrior that's down making a blitz possible and then just repositioning a little bit so yeah but basically uh maximizing blocks on the left and right side yeah okay i think that's i think that's fair there's no there's nothing else to do really apart from fighting is there at the moment probably there's probably but this this is exactly what i would have done yep you're hitting you're hitting with block mighty on the defenseless guy and even a push gives you a 2D uh, with with the other block 90, so yeah. Crap dice. <laughs> and then by putting the strength 5 in there, it, it protects him, he protects himself by being strength 5, so that was a great way to cancel the Black Orcs assist. Um, and yeah, the dodge against Mighty Blow is fine, so I would have probably uh, played that turn exactly the same as you. <laughs> See you afterwards. 
But um, Hippie would have uh, would have cast that black orc, <laughs> and that's the difference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gets the pile on. Which is a bit lucky, right? Because if he'd piled, he would have at least had to follow up. Um, yeah. And maybe got blocked back. So I, I like keeping the guy directly behind him. I like to think about because you want that if if the guy piles on, you want him to be in contact. Like, blah, 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 right? If the guy with when you're playing against a piling on guy, you want the guy that's got pile on to have to follow up to pile on, and then he'll be in a tackle zone of somebody. So that if he doesn't get the pile on or doesn't want to pile on, you can hit him. Um, or at least you've got assists for him. So I, I like I like keeting them together for that. Um, I don't know whether that was in part of your reasoning or not, but I did like I do like to do that. Well, it's basically uh, a lot of uh, how I approach stuff. I'm actually not really sure why I do it. I just it's uh, like basically copying stuff I see and not maybe seeing the reasoning behind it. But in this case, yeah, that's a that's a good good hint there. Cool. Right, so here this is this is tricky now, isn't it? Because you're down two men. Yeah. And uh, it's get he's got the guards, so now it's getting to the point where it's pretty hard to get hits in. But the good thing is you've got the you've got the plus strength when you blitz, haven't you? Um, so again, it's it's just punching, right? He's got the ball back. There's not you can't really go for the ball at all, so it's just maximizing blocks. Actually, um, what my my thinking here was um, trying to. Um, uh, somewhat uh, uh, pressure the ball just so he has to use more people to protect it. So right. I think I, I, in this turn I blitz through, or I try to blitz through the middle and put the t uh, tackle near the ball, but uh, we, we, we should see. I'm not sure if I did that. Ah, right. Well, no, no, I would have still just been, I would still just be trying to fight at this point. Um, mm. So I've, it's, it's horrible, but I'd probably want to do the rookie hate sphere blocking the guarder to push him away mm -hmm. then the block mighty gets to hit the black orc and then blitz this uh blitz the black orc next to him so you know so you can clear all those guys off mm -hmm. um try and do that and then maybe something the other side is like something similar the other side of the strength five can punch and then maybe the strength three could i don't know but so, you know sort of something like maybe they could have blitzed the guarder on the other side Something like that, I would have only thought about fighting, to be honest. But this is all right because you do get to mighty blow, his mighty blow. So, like, this is a good punch to make. Um, like, obviously, he's got the palm, but hurting him is all right as well. Um, so, yeah... Yes, I mean, th this way he gets to punch him, but it means you don't get follow-up blocks, right? That's the thing, but uh, by uh, by the mighty blow hitting the guard, you do get the mighty blow hit on him. <laughs> but it means you don't get any mo any further hits, whereas if you'd mm. hit with the guy to his right, then you yeah. could have hit uh, with the mighty blow as well, and then that would have freed up uh, the beast man to run around and not get punched next turn as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a good point. Yeah, but but this blitz was good because this blitz got you the extra hit and stuff. So that that's that was, and you know you are hitting a high value player. I don't like the running the tackle forward because ultimately he is he is defenseless. Um, also, you will just get uh, uh, piled on basically. He's, he's basically my only uh, fearful player for his ball carrier. So yeah, yeah, this him in the back. Yeah, this I really don't like. I'd be I'd be wanting to hold him back. It could have moved him in to assist this this block that he just made as well. You know, he could have he could have been moved in there. Um, mm -hmm. I would have I would have liked that a lot more. Um, because then that one D that you just made without a block would have been a two D, and he would have been somewhat protected. I mean, mm -hmm. not really because he would bring the guard in to hit him still. So. I would probably have brought him in for that 2D or I'd have done the other 2Ds or whatever, you know, but so, something having him around, you want him hovering near the back because he is your uh, he is your potato insurance, I think. I think that was a fundamental... Well, I, say, I don't want to say mistake. <laughs> Thanks, Yuri Styles. I don't want to say mistake, but I think 
it's not what I it's not what I would have done. I know, I know that sounds like such a shit cop, cop out, but it's right though, isn't it? Because you know you could watch that game, great game yesterday. I don't know if you saw it, Nicholson. Uh, no, please, no spoilers. I wanna uh, I wanna watch it later. Ah, well there you go. No spoilers, but it was a great game. And if, it's a, will... if it's a great game, well, you probably won. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It was it was genuinely a great game where. Where there were lots of things that I could have done differently, and and Gadena could have done differently, and you know I haven't watched it back yet. I think Hippie Hippie and Varks and I did the com commentary for it, I believe, um, the Rebel commentary, and you know I'm sure they were like saying why is he doing that and stuff, and you know thinking, expecting both of us to do different things. So it doesn't mean it 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 really doesn't mean it's wrong, but. I really don't like that because it's just it's yeah. basically sacrificing them. I, I won't do it again probably when you say you don't like it because yeah, as you just said in the in the moment I, I just took something I, I heard somewhere okay, uh, challenge the ball carry a little bit so that he has to pull people back. But then again, uh, yeah, that's I'm the thing. Like that. you're you're the one already two men down. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's that's the problem. If you're two men up, um, and his guys were like somewhat. Um, occupied and stuff, mm. then I would like it more. But um, yeah, okay. exactly get away with it. <laughs> so as it is, he's giving you a four plus for two D on the ball. That's that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. So now this is an almost uh, do you switch gears kind of turn, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, um, I wanted to do the blitz uh, after doing some uh, more reliable stuff before, and I think it fails. So my plan was definitely to try to uh, do a four plus uh, dodge into the blitz, but I think I used my reroll before. Right. For something, some some potato. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a few things you could do here. There, there is the four plus. Blitz on. Um, he he is only holding the center with this one black orc. So, blitzing him with the mighty blow, um, either warrior or beast would be quite a decent play because then you could, you could kind of try and cut everybody off from the thrower. You know, kind of split his team. Could mm -hmm. split his team quite well. Oh, do you know what? I could do a. I could. Do <laughs> right. Wait a second. Give me a. Give me a second here. I've just. I've just had a great idea. Um. I don't know how to do what I'm trying to do, <laughs> but um, bear with me. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. Um, yeah, Dark Walker. If if there is one, <laughs> then uh, nothing nothing changes about Blood Bowl really for uh, um, on on Blood Bowl two. Nothing's. Nothing's changed. Right. So if I do this, here we go. <laughs> Brilliant. And then. Um... <laughs> Right, now what do I do? Uh... Oh. <laughs> I don't understand, I thought I'd done the... Um... this <laughs> and we've got this and then maybe this will work 
Right, sorry about the technical difficulties. <laughs> So here we go. Right. So yeah, you could have. Um, you, if you look at the stream, I can. I've, I've got it. I've got it all sorted now. So, safe moves first. Stand that guy up. Then this guy could have uh, moved into this square. Yeah. Um. And then you've got this blitzer could hit him, push him to somewhere there, and then go one, two, three, four. And tag the ball if that's the, if if you want to tag the ball. I don't I don't know if you would want to tag the ball there or not, but it's possible. Obviously, this this guy would have stood up first as well. And then if you powered this guy, then uh, both warriors can can come through. One, two, three, four, five. You know, tag him, tag tag his uh, pommer with one of the warriors. The beastman could run around. You know, if you knock him over, the beastman standing here would be great. And then you'd so you'd have like a dude stood there, dude stood there. And then um, he'd be stood up. You could have someone stood here and someone stood here. And someone stood here, you know? So they've got three, yeah. four, five. And then so you could have you could have all these guys stood, stood around and then him stood up as well. And then all of a sudden he's under a lot of pressure. Two guys are totally isolated. And uh, the strength five can knock him down maybe. And, and, uh, and you know, now all of a sudden everything's collapsed on him. So like while it's tempting to go for the four plus 2D on the ball, you can, if you, especially if you get the power on that guy, you can you can collapse in and do a really uh, really put a lot of a lot of pressure on um, there. Right. I yeah, don't that know. makes total sense. <laughs> I don't know how to get rid of this. <laughs> um, okay, I can do that and then that. Right. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Dark Lord. Right, so hopefully, hopefully that makes sense using the <laughs> pin. Hello, Kiwi. So, yep, yeah, some safe moves first. Oh yeah, and then that 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 push to there is interesting as well. That's something that could have happened with the other thing as well. That was a nice. That was a nice push. That I like that. I would have not followed to give you the two D here. Oh no no no! Now Shawnee, now ow! Yeah, no, I don't like the uphill. Um, while it's not horrific odds with block, I think it's much. If you want to make that block, you definitely just don't follow and make it a one D. Um. Uh, sure. Because he's not doing a whole lot by following anyway, right? The strength five is already on the guard. Um, the oh uh, mate, I don't take no fucking voids. <laughs> what do you know about voids? What the fuck, mate? You take voids? Yeah, sorry, no VIP. Mate. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, the 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 down black hawk's already based up, so the follow isn't really doing you a whole lot of good. Um, mm. Whereas obviously the assist would be doing you a lot of good, and uh, if you're going to make that uphill, then definitely do it after the ball because hitting the ball is way you know is just way more important, isn't it? I know it's maybe technically less likely to fail, um, about thirty percent to fail, isn't it, an uphill um, with block versus not block? But still, even then, like just I wouldn't have I wouldn't have taken. I wouldn't have if I was going to go for the four plus. I probably wouldn't have even taken the one D first, you know, just to make sure I had the reroll mm. for the four plus in, and then this will no doubt fail. Standard. Yeah, 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 of course. Standard. <laughs> That's another reason not to go for the four plus because you know it's going to fail. <laughs> so I think that's why I would like, and again, you know, it's situational as well because like in CCL versus a random person. Um. I'd be more likely to go for probably for the collapsing in the side, whereas maybe if that was versus Ducky or you know or whoever, then the four plus would become more appealing because you might not get a better chance. So mm. I do tend to play more conservatively versus people I think I've got more chance of beating, <laughs> which makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, sure. 
Yeah, yeah I, 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 as I said before, this uh, I remembered some sort of potato play uh, I did here. I really wasn't sure what I was expecting with this. I will just just connect more on the side of the ball, I guess, uh, and hope for the best. The classic, the classic hope for the best player. <laughs> exactly. Oh wow, he goes for the upkill. Frisky. So now he's kind of like, he's almost done to you what you could have done to him the turn before because now you've got yeah. two guys on a on a black orc and another guy out of the way. The stun, the stun on the uh, on the tackle is really horrible, isn't it? Because otherwise he could have gone in easily for a two D on the ball. Right, is it easy? One, two, yeah, super easy. Oh no, no, not super easy, but pretty easily he would have got two D on the ball. Um, if he had been, if he had not been stunned. <laughs> I mean, there's there's a way to get two D on the ball here, isn't there? Um, with dodges, which again, now you're getting the point where it's a little bit desperate, isn't it? He's got four turns left. You two men down and two stuns. You four men down for this turn, and although although he's kind of got three guys over on this side, and so do you. Um, yeah, I think I, uh, I'm I'm not sure if I remember correctly, but I think I tried to break through for the two uh, D with the uh, mighty blow on the ball. So yeah. one D the guard, one D the black orc. Yeah. And then, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that seems that seems kind of reasonable. One, two, three, four. So you, you, strength five could go move around first, and then yeah, a bit essentially a three plus, and then a, a, essentially another three plus to get two D on, on a blodger. But that looks rough. Everything looks rough now. <laughs> this turn, yeah. doesn't it? This, that and that was another thing about the four plus. Like the failure state of failing it is just horrible, isn't it? Um, especially with a stun, because now you really. I don't know what the the probably the best the best kind of safest play is probably the mighty blow runs into the bottom there. Um, let me <laughs> let me get this again. The good old paint. Yeah, yeah, classic, classic bit of paint. Um, now it's different than it was. Isn't that weird? It was just literally different. Um. Uh, what I what I like is why is it, it's it's all changed now. Ah, it's because it's on the wrong side. Move him in there, and then this warrior blitzes him, pushes him to there, which gives you a two D on him, and then that gives you a two D on him. So that gets you, you know, three blocks, maybe three knockdowns, and four guys standing. He blocks him. Which means he can come back, and then this guy probably does want to go in there to occupy these two guys, and then in that scenario you've got these two paired off, one guy taken up two, maybe knock three players down, and you've got some guys back hopefully to to recover, um, you know, for the future. I would say. Right, let me get rid of that. <laughs> um, ah, glorious Goliath. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I think that would be what I'd be trying to do this turn. So yeah, that, that's good. That's the first. That's the first move. That puts him on two players. Makes it really hard for him to get blitzed. Ah, and a two with him. Two with him on the guard. But yeah, by doing that, you do end up this guy in contact, don't you? And, and probably getting knocked over. Oh, did he stand up that? No, well, forget that. The, the, forget the last bit that I said about him blocking him then. Um, yeah, I would have just, I would have just dodged away then, um, because a block on him isn't that good. Although obviously a ball down is better than rolling a two on the dodge. I think it's more valuable to get your beast man back in future. But yeah, 
So your your turn was you end up with this guy getting punched, aren't you? Guaranteed. Um and he's still got men around the ball, whereas I think it it would have been better to have attacked in front of where the ball was there. Mm -hmm. What about this um the, the block mighty blow pulling him back? Is that Well yeah that, that was possible zone? because of the way you did it compared to the way I did it. Mm -hmm. So uh, but has it any uh, value at all to pull him back here? Or oh yeah, he yeah, I like I like doing it once you've done the other things, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure if once you've started the turn the way you did, then mm -hmm. uh, I definitely like bringing him back, yeah, for sure. Because, like, it's it's looking horrible. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Don't yeah, get me wrong. Absolutely. It's looking, it's looking pretty terrible. But at least I mean, I felt bad some... about the game from the start, as you said. So, uh, like, an early TV chaos against orcs is always a shit show. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, this is not easy. Um, realistic. Oh no, he's he's there. Um, You're looking at a 1D on the ball, or maybe it's a, a 3 plus to make it 2, I think. This is how bad the situation is now. That um, this block mighty just dodges through and 2Ds, doesn't he? So you've got to dodge, dodge with a Chaos Warrior, and then, um, and then dodge through for a 2D on the ball. And mm. I, think I definitely didn't do that, probably. <laughs> I think that's like you know the situation with all these guys being down two players removed that's your only hope you've got of even maybe stopping the score otherwise yeah you can go for the attrition block like, but you know so now by making this block you, uh, you're you basically giving up on the half yeah. you get an amazing cast because <laughs> that was an I mean it was a really valuable player to hit so it's okay to give him the up on the half at this point. However, I would not have made the dodge at all. Um, no, I did not like that. I, I much prefer punching him with a mighty blow, especially after you've made the blitz. Yeah, uh, uh, it doesn't serve me any uh, big purpose to get a, uh, another player back because I'm not stopping him anyway. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, yeah. Keep on but, punching. Yeah, I think that turn. My assessment was if you either dodge, you either dodge through, get two D on the ball that turn, or he scores, and but and by by making that attrition blitz, you're essentially gifting him the score. I mean, not not really, but kind of, you know, because you wouldn't you didn't expect to get a to get a cas from it. Mm. So you could have easily just pushed him and then been like, oh. <laughs> um, so. By doing that, you're kind of giving up. Now, once you have got the cas on him, then then you know you could reconsider and then make the dodge and move back. But I think when you've got like an, a free two D on on his killer, um, mm. I mean, imagine if you'd done the same again and you'd cast him that turn. Then then yeah, the second half. Would have been good. Yeah, and again, you know, it depends what your what your ambitions are for the game. Like at the end of the day, once you've lost the, I, did you lose the toss to the orcs? Yeah. Yeah. Once you've lost the toss to them, really all you're trying to do is, is keep players alive for the second half and hope you can <laughs> hope you can draw. Like it's it's horrible. I have played Orcs before ages ago. I wish I wish I could remember, you know, which team it was or anything. But I had like uh, I had rookie chaos against rookie orcs, or like near rookie. And I did stop the score, but it like cost me about three or four cars or something, you know, like KOs and cars. And, and so I only had one KO roll, didn't get them back, and okay, I stopped the score, but then I've got eight players for the second half, and I'm I'm just completely screwed. <laughs> there's nothing there's nothing you can do on offense with chaos with eight men against orcs against a full orc team. So you, you know, although while you could have gone for that, uh, you know, dodge and then another dodge for two D on the ball, probably chances are it fails and you get another player removed. So there's definitely something to be said for the. Uh, you know, you've got three KOs out, so just going for the attrition there. But yeah, definitely do one or both. You know, don't 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 uh, don't do that blitz and then that dodge. I think. Mm -hmm. It's it's especially hard because he's got the blodger as well, isn't it? So like, 
even if he even if he plays shit and gives you a kind of an easy 2D, you're probably not going to get him down anyway. And he's he's got recoveries and it's just it's just super super bad at this point. Even though it may not look so bad, and he he could misplay and give you a shot. Oh wow! Sculled himself there. So now this turn you have you have got a better chance than the other turn, haven't you? Now uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, J five. So it's a three plus two plus to get two dice on the ball. So already it's better than the previous turn, <laughs> but it was helped by getting the cars. So um, that doesn't mean that the uh, two dodges last turn were wrong. I think now you have to go for the hit on the ball here, and uh, probably just safe moves first and then in for that blitz. I would say because I think like I think for the other, I think I'm going for the other uh, blitzer, the one on uh, with block. Not sure why. Yeah. Right. Okay, so that, that was okay. Yeah. Well, let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's two GFIs. I I thought that was. I thought that was too far away, just by just by glancing at it. It's funny, isn't it? I don't count squares as much as I should. So that's a good tip: count squares. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so it's two GFIs to hit him, whereas this one is just uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One GFI to hit him. Um, My thinking was here um, why I went for, for this one. If I get a power on him and get the ball to leave the field. I yeah. could get lucky with the scatter, and on the other, if I would, if I blitz with the other, I'm not sure. I, I can't uh, get it out of the field with a blitz from the sideline. Yep, that's a that's a very good point. Yeah, that that is a that is a much better, like you can. There's a much better chance of stopping the score if it goes in the crowd. Absolutely, but well, probably, <laughs> probably, uh, it would be a three and eight to go in the crowd, and then one and two. Would be decent scatters, and maybe three, I guess, would be a decent scatter because it could come in the long way. So probably two would be the bad scatter, right? If it got put in this this line, that would be the bad scatter for you. Yeah. That would be this direction would be a good scatter, and then if it went out the back, it would come in there or there, um, which are both probably decent scatters for you. Um, so yeah, you know that that that's that's certainly fair. Three two two, but I mean you are let let's let's sambre it up. That's another. That's another good thing, is uh, don't be afraid to samba the odd thing. So you were three two two, and then having to pow a blodger with a reroll. So your way had a thirty three point four percent to get him down. How do you? Just a quick question. How do you do this um, uh, statistics uh, when you do it on on stream? Do you use some sort of? Uh... I do. I've linked it there in the in the in the uh, in the ah, stream. I see. Yeah. Samba action okay, calculator it is, um, and yeah, you can also do use EAB to do it. Um, like for example, I think this should work. There you go. That's that's the chance of a three two two. So that, that you can do, you can do things with it with it with extra arm spot, um, but that's the site, and it's it's really useful, really useful to like. If you're not sure about things, like you know, I've I've used it in a game before. If it's like some kind of crazy sequence, um, and you know you're not quite sure if you've got a four minute turns in Rebel, <laughs> or uh, or you, if you're looking at a replay, like you know you can look at your own replays, can't you, and, and see things. So your whole success rate was thirty three percent to get him down, whereas my way would have been thirty seven percent to get him down. So, you know, mine would have been marginally more likely to get him down. But then if you get him down, it's way better to hit from that angle because you're putting him further away from the end zone and you're giving the chance of the scatter out. So you could definitely absolutely argue it's worth the slightly less chance of success to uh, for a much bigger payoff, certainly. But I would have just instinctually gone for the easier thing. And hold for it. Mm. Also, your way if you get a both down, it's not it's not strictly true, is it? Because if you get a both down with a block player, then it doesn't end your turn. Um, but I was also thinking, uh, in the back of my head thinking if I actually get it down and the balls get us uh, up the field a little bit, I have a, the beastman can 
get the ball, but it's uh, now yeah. still uh, would we have been the other blitzer. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it was it was huge, huge, huge payoff. I, I would say your way was probably correct, and my way is probably incorrect. Even though, <laughs> even though uh, mine had a better chance of getting the ball, popping the ball, I think yours was probably a better way to win the game, right? My way has got very minimal chance of winning the game, whereas your mm. your way has got about <laughs> about a one in a uh, well. About a one in five, about one in five, about about a five percent chance, mm. something like that of of the ball coming popping out and and coming up here somewhere. Maybe it's three percent chance of just getting the ball into your opponent's half, and then you just win. <laughs> so it's there's you know it, that's the thing. It's it's never it's never it's never cut and dry. And also yours was safer in 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 that if you got a both down. Um, you could keep it like you know you'd still be in the way but obviously chances are you'd clear you mm. so I tend to not value that when when I'm hitting a blodger I tend to not value having a having block myself you know Cause I'm, if, if I'm hitting a blodge ball carrier I tend to not care whether I've got block or not because I'm just trying to power them you know mm. generally and also there was an there was an argument for just going for for that hit that you went for first before standing anybody up. Mm. Um and then just keeping them down for the last turn. Because Yeah, now I just get banged on a little <laughs> further. <laughs> yeah, he's oh god he's doing a random uphill there. Um, he probably thought you were a strength forward. And yeah, now everyone's knocked over. Technically, this warrior could dodge through on a 4 4 3. <laughs> but I, I don't know if I'd try or not, not, honestly. Oh, well, don't have, to, don't have to think about whether you try. <laughs> yeah, it was, you know, now, now it's over, obviously, after failing that 1 in 9. Had some bad dice this half, to be fair. Yeah, I would, I would have considered just not getting him pommed. Like, you know, either blitzing with him or dodging with him somehow to try and just not get him pommed. Um, but it's not that scary, is it? Because it's only pommed against Armin Allen, so... Meaty boys. Right, four KOs. But huge cars. Hey, free come back. Glorious. So that means you got 11 men for the second half, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Maybe you can him. have a little look into my offense the first few turns because I, like, I have the feeling if with my chaos teams I not, if I don't get the upper hand uh, uh, removal wise, I think I'm a little bit lost how to advance my positions and uh, just play in my opponent's hands sometimes. So maybe we can just watch the first few. Uh, Turns of the offense because afterwards it just goes to shit anyway. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, to be fair, like that's that's just a problem that that raises, you know. Like it's people. <laughs> I don't know if you're in Rebel or a fan of Rebel, but this is not. Yeah, I'm in Rebel. This but is, just I started this season. Right. Well, this is not a knock on like Rebel the League, just the attitude of some of the people in it. Um, a lot of people, for some reason, not are in Rebel. Their attitude is that, like, Bash is brainless and all down to dice, removal dice. Well, it's not, it doesn't mean it's brainless, but yeah, you could, if, you, if your team is built to remove players and it doesn't remove players, you get in trouble. <laughs> like, that's not, that doesn't mean that you're an idiot. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it, and that seems to be, you know, maybe, yeah, maybe it's like not it, the prevailing like theory, but it's it's definitely noticeable um, amongst the, the the more vocal members of the community uh, in Rebel is that it really is, and it's it's not a knock on, on anybody, but it just is what it is. I feel like, and, and, and just generally, not just in Rebel, just everywhere, really, the kind of people. Yeah, I get that. I get that feedback in 
CCL or so in the chat all the time that I'm just an abusive <laughs> bully. And nobody seems to complain until I reach TV 1800 because they like to just fuck up a bad chaos team. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't think I don't think that's exclusive to Rebel by any means. I think a lot of people uh, like to think that elves are big brain teams and bash teams are, are stupid roll dice. But everything's rolling dice, you know. Stand firm it still requires dice rolls. Stand firm isn't positional, and Mighty Blow isn't kill. It, it's both just rolling dice, aren't they? Everything is all. All you can do is play. You can try to play as well as you can. <laughs> That's all you can do, and and bash teams don't have movement seven on every player and edge four on every player. So if if they don't get removals, they're gonna fucking struggle. If they get removed, they're gonna fucking struggle. It's not there's no there's no amount of stand firm or anything is gonna help you then. <laughs> you know there's no yeah. and and it obviously yes people can play better than other people, but I think bash teams well. So well, there's how many how many matchups are there in Blood Bowl? There's about four matchups, isn't there? There's elves versus elves, bash versus bash, and elves versus bash. There's about three matchups. Um, <laughs> um, no, I wouldn't say bash is more about dice. No, I, I don't. I would just say it's it's all it's just all about dice. But what I think is, if you've got a bash team mirror, it's a lot more about the teams than the play, because it's a lot harder to play around him just having more guard than you and more armor than you and more mighty blow and more block than you. You've got less, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, but I'm, just, I'm not saying bash on more about dice, but that, you know, I'm, it's it's fair enough. It's, um, you know, it's like you, you, you don't get as many opportunities to outplay another bash coach, really. Um, I mean, to be fair, uh, like the block dice are the ones that every player always sees in the middle of the screen while dodging out and stuff like that just happens kind yeah. of in the background. So that's maybe a, that's, that's a good story. point. That's a good. This is a horrible blitz, by the way, isn't it? To get this, he has set up really deep, so it's not too bad. But he, he might swarm you a bit. So yeah, that's that's the way I look at it. Is is bash versus bash? The teams matter a lot more because neither side can really outplay the other side that hard. And obviously, you can. You know, like. But you know what I mean? It's it's a lot harder if if the other guy's got three more guard than you, and three more mighty blow than you, and three more block than you. It's really fucking hard to just outplay him, you know. And so if you don't get any removals and he removes you, you you know it's it's looking really bad. Um, if it's elves versus elves, then the play might not matter because the, you know the skills could the skills and and roles could just thing. But it feels like it's more in your hands then, you know. And if it's if you're elves versus bash. Even if they've got a better team than you, it feels like if you play well, you can steal the ball off them and win. And if they've got a really good elf team and you've got a bash team that isn't as good as the elves, it also can feel like, well, you can play better than them and protect the ball. Do you know? So, like, I think out of all, out of the f kind of kind of four matchups, I feel like the bash mirror is the one with the least agency for good play, if you if you like. I don't hate your setup here. Um, maybe not have those guys on the line in case of a perfect defense. But on the other hand, maybe have them on the line in case of a perfect defense. So that's a hard call. You w didn't have to be wary of a blitz, um, like them stealing the ball on the blitz. Um, but I do like the uh, tackler in front of the show hands just in case something happens and you get something in. So yeah, he is gonna he is gonna go all man's, isn't he? And that's it. It doesn't matter it doesn't matter how good you are at blood ball. Um you can't really compete against a guy having you know, more more guard than you and more mighty blow. Well he doesn't have more mighty blow, but he could do. <laughs> that's what I hate about being down to down like that's why I kind of hate bash in CCL because it's just horrible when you're down T V. And this just feels like down T V because orcs are just better than Chaos at this level. Oh, instant instant dub skulls. So right, what what's your goal here? What what is your goal here? There you go. Um, uh, in general, I, I, I try to uh, punch as much as I can, disconnect as much as I can, and move the ball to the right side somehow with some dice. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that's the big thing. Is more more than make as many blocks as try to disconnect as much as possible for sure. 
So yeah, and I'll, I'll do that with the as, as, with the blocks instead of dodges. That would be my if I can. Yes. Of course. Yes, absolutely. So with that in mind, um, I kind of don't like this guy going straight ahead with his with his block. Um, I would have liked to have seen going one one way or the other um, to you know to then get subsequent blocks to free up with a blitz um, right here we go I'll, I'll try to show you what I mean so uh, yeah, I forgot the right thing oh god come on come on just bucket fill <laughs> bucket fill isn't going to help <laughs> <laughs> just move your players everywhere yeah this guy blocked straight ahead didn't he um, however if he had blocked this way for example then this guy can block him and then he's just free to move without anything um, or this guy could have blitzed and then come back as well and then he can move um, if you block the other way then he can block him he can block him and then he can blitz and move back. But then you only get one guy free. Um, so I think the best way to free players up here would have been this guy to block him. And again, you just need to push. This guy... Um, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> and then uh, then this guy could have blitzed, right? Then you could have brought this, this, this fella in here. Then this guy could have blitzed and run back. And then this one could have blocked the guy who was there and push him. And then this guy could have moved back here. And then all of a sudden you can have like about four guys. And again, not caging, but like, you know, just uh, just generally in the just way. Screening off a bit. Yeah, something, something like that. Just so you've got a screen in front of mm, heavy, heavier over that side where you, where you might, in case you fail the pickup. Because you might fail the pickup, obviously, even with sure hands. Um... <laughs> uh, you got to go for that. I don't think you've got to go for a handoff here. Um, <laughs> there's times when going for a handoff would be better, but yeah, because now the only way you free this guy up is if you blitz with him. So I think I maybe would have blitzed with him there to get him him out. You could blitz with uh, this guy. Well, that's good as well, right? To be fair, this is this is a good one. This is a this is a good place to blitz. To be fair, this is a good place to blitz because then you get the uh, get the guard guy out of the way. Um, oh wow, this is a this is a handoff. This is a handoff to the right. Woo! I don't like going forward. Um, no, no, I don't. I don't like the handoff, and I don't like going forward. Um, I didn't want to spoil the fun after he wrote in the chat that I actually did that. <laughs> yeah, 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 incredible. Um, no, 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 no. I definitely not. No, definitely no handoff. Um, just kind of yeah, layer, layer the screen up because you you're just going for the turn eight score, right? It, it's, and again, this is where like a bit of tilt may come in. Um, mm. If you know, if you feel like the game isn't going well and stuff, he's just got the blitz. You were crushed that half. And uh, it's easy to say, you know, afterwards. Oh well, you, this is actually a pretty good spot, right? He's 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 lost a good player. You haven't lost anybody, and uh, you can get the draw here, um, even despite that blitz. So I would have probably done the blitz before the pickup. To be fair, seeing as you've got the uh, seeing as you've got the sure hands, the blitz is a one in eight you want to fail. Um, rather than one in nine to fail, and it would be an extra body back in the way in case you failed to pick up. So I think for sure, blitz before the before the pickup, and definitely no handoff. I would just keep, I would have kept like those four guys, because, well, yeah, you've, you've got one guy, two, three, and four, haven't you? And those four could have all been in front of the, between his team and the ball. Um, and I would have just kept the ball back where, back where the show hands guy is. I, yeah. Oh, it didn't bl didn't blitz that turn. That was a huge mistake of 
not blitzing. Mm. And that could have been two D blitz, even if you weren't going to move afterwards. Uh, but that could have been a blitz and uh, move around. Yes, yeah, Hir Hir Hiroshi. I don't know um, how the order worked out that turn. Um, I don't know how the order of blocks worked out that turn, but um, obviously with guards around, sometimes you've got to block with the non-blocks first. I tend to just block most important first. Like, I feel like if I'm going to block without block, I'll often do it first to make sure I've got the reload for it. Um, obviously, I'd rather not block without block, but I, I disagree that that's, that that's good general advice. To be honest, a block with block guys first. <laughs> I would say more block with block if at all possible. Um, and then if it's not possible, which it often isn't with chaos, then um, consider not blocking with the not block but not block guys, or getting out of the way first so that you've definitely got a reroll for it. Yeah, unless you have to. Right. So again, now, now, what are you thinking here? Oof. Let me let me see. Let me. I'm trying to remember what I was thinking or what I'm thinking. What I'm thinking now. Yeah. E either. Either. Yeah. Okay. So what did I think yesterday? I think I got Blood Bowl is a shit game, which I'm shitty at, <laughs> and <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I think I tried to uh, relocate to the left side from here because I didn't feel I could get any kind of safety here yeah so basically just uh, remove like like block the um, guard guy in front of the chaos warrior and then recage in the middle because the black orc can be can be blocked in the middle yeah this, this you can have a pretty great turn here right because you can um your warrior can block the you can bring one of these guys around here warrior can block the black orc. This beast can block him because he can come in. He can block this uh, this black orc. He can block him, and you can blitz the guy. So you can potentially knock over five players on this side of the field and have the ball over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yes, the ball over here, and pretty safe by with his whole line knocked down. I would think. So I I would definitely try to switch over the uh, left hand side and. And try to plow everybody down here if it's possible. That's a nice start. Let's see what I did. A glorious block mighty blow. Oh, that guy just stood up. Okay, so you can't knock them all down. Man. So that changes things a bit. What I really like is, although this guy's uh, strength 5 with no block or anything, I really like blitzing the block 90 with uh, the pom with him, just because it, it kind of... Uh, it kind of... Right, so here we go. This block here, although I like making it, absolutely right to move the ball first, isn't it? Because then... If you won in 81 that, all of a sudden he's just going to punch you and then run around and swarm you and he's got two dice on the ball instantly. If you just move the ball guy first, then uh, and then you won in 81 it, then he's he's really going to struggle to get two dice on you. Um, so yeah, definitely should have moved the ball there before. I mean, you probably should have moved it before blocking with, with the block guy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because but, he was free to move it. I, I'm pretty sure I just was tilted. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough, yeah. Yeah, everyone can relate. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely, you know, you probably should do it before hitting with a block. But, to be fair, hitting with block is something that people kind of automatically do first and don't really think of what happened if I won 1 in one in twelve nine six here because it only happens 1 in twelve nine six times. So, it's not the end of the world. Like, you know, it's not that much doing it's not worth doing correctly that much but when you when you're risking the one in 81 then that's absolutely when you should be uh doing safe moves first i mean you should be doing it first anyway but it's it's totally and people don't this does get you an extra square forward by waiting which is which is good so there was payoff to not doing it first i wouldn't have gone further forward though because it does let him base you by blitzing somebody and i don't like that blitz direction either um yeah, I definitely like 
I'd definitely like blitzing the uh, Pommer with a strength 5. Yeah. And sticking him on you. And also, I like not blocking there. I've noticed you do a lot of 1Ds and uphills at the end of turns and stuff. I think there's a lot of value in just, you know, if you don't do just anything keeping there, the position. Yeah, if you, if, you, if you just do nothing, you know, you don't, you don't need to dodge uh, anything. If you just do nothing there, he's got to bring a guy in to assist, and then he's got to use mm -hmm. that guy's action to block. So he is ta you are taking up two players for that turn. Yeah, I definitely do that way too often to go for the one these at the end of turns to yeah. get a payoff, even though, I mean, he has Mighty Blow, but uh, the other guy has uh, Armor 9, so it's not... Like, versus uh, an elf team, I would always do that, because they just disconnect if they want to. Yeah. Yeah, against against elves, it's 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 it becomes closer. But <laughs> yeah, see, look, this is this is the thing that can happen, right? Because you because you moved into that extra square, now he can base you, right? Whereas if you'd been one square back, he wouldn't have been able to base you at that point. So, I, although you were able to get that extra square forward, um, I wouldn't have taken it because of the danger of getting based. And although we like to go. Uh, base the ball means one game and all this kind of stuff. You know, it's, you would rather it not happen if it. It's <laughs> while it's not the game-winning uh, thing that some people like to imagine it is. It's also something that you'd rather not happen for no reason that could have been avoided. And um, you have got a chain here though to free him. Base, base, base. This so hopefully, hopefully you spot this chain. Um, right. So what's what's your what's your plan this turn? Not remember what I, I would guess to get further up the field on the left side because he's now like uh, like my players on the right side are pretty committed yeah. and also his players are committed. Not sure if I um, see the chain with the if I saw the chain with the you mean the chaos warrior? Yes. Free the chaos warrior and then chain free my ball carrier. Yeah, yeah, you can. Uh, yeah, you can hit down. Oh, I can. I can, I can. Yeah, I can just do it uh, uh, right now, actually. Yeah. No, I can't. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, ah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, just the push is enough. Yeah. yeah. He he pushes him. Oh, yeah. I mean, you need to pow. You'd need to pow him. But if you powered him, then yeah. um, you can push him into there, and then he goes away, and then you're free, and then you can probably blitz this guy with somebody. He can move mm. up. And then build a cage on the left side. Yep, and then you've built a nice little cage here. Somewhere. Yeah, painting lines with Jim, yeah. <laughs> so I think I think I think that's what I, again, so now you do have you do have a two D with block, right? <laughs> that you could make. But um this is the thing, I don't I wouldn't do This I wouldn't is the more that. important one, yeah. Yeah, I'd go for the most the more important one first. Hit that. See if you get the POW. And also, I, I think you stood this guy up. I wouldn't have stood him up yet. Um, I would have done this block before I'd stood him up. I, I believe he's just stood up now, this beast man. So, I would have done this block first. And then if you get the push, then then obviously... But uh, that, that block only has a one dice right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's why I wouldn't have stood him up. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, see? Because he, he stood up, this beast man, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure. So... You don't stand him up. You've still got a warrior with two assists. He punches mm. him. If it's a push, you push him to there, and he's still got he's still got a black orc here. And then, because you follow up, if it's a push, your chaos warrior is here. So now this this beast man can stand up and blitz him to clear mm. your ball. So I really hate the stand up first. Um, now, of course. <laughs> there is also the fact of if you want an 81 and haven't stood him up the failure state's worse so that's something to consider but it is only one in 81 and I guess I would I would, I would definitely keep him down in case I only got a push it's much more likely that you push him than you want in 81 <laughs> you know so I would definitely yeah, I would have kept him down gone for this chain I mean obviously I spotted the chain instantly so that's something maybe you've got to look for um, you know more rather than uh you know so like you know take a take when you when your ball carriers base and stuff you know take a few a few seconds to look and see if you can chain first because chains are like the premier way of 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 clearing clearing markers you know mm -hmm. so yeah standing him looks good yeah he did stand up yeah 
Yeah, because obviously he couldn't have blitzed tr straight away because he's got the defensive assist. And then, yeah, block with him. And then I guess you're going to have to run around now to blitz and blitz him free. Oh, no, just going to dodge. Oh, oh, and there's a one in nine. Now there's no reroll for the dodge. Yeah, so this is... I get, I'm guessing you failed seeing as you said that the drive went went bad as well. <laughs> no! Yeah, and Unbelievable, Jeff. Made a three plus without a reroll, outrageous. <laughs> and yeah, I like doing that block and then getting these blocks as well. Yeah. Be an argument for just dodging this guy. Um and I know that sounds stupid. <laughs> <laughs> seeing as you've got a 2D with him, but... Um, yeah, yeah, could use a uh, player more in the in the upper field. Yeah, exactly. You, he's al His line was already one-on-one -on -one with your guy. Yeah. And exactly. uh, while it would be a three-plus, yeah. he would he, like it would be such a big payoff to get him, to get him out. Like there or something, yeah. I mean, he bases him up and stuff, so it's it's it's, it's certainly not bad to, to make that block. And it is a 2D block, so, like, it's way safer. And probably better, but there is certainly a payoff to to moving him, moving him through. So yeah, I, I really didn't like that turn. I, that that turn was the turn I liked the least. And yeah, also this is not really very protected at all, is it? No. I think he should have powed. I think he should have powed and followed to uh, get the tackle zone on the two warriors. No, oh, Hancock half hour. Thank you very much for the raid. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Doing a Patreon Patreon replay analysis oh, with Nicholson. Oh, I need us a cheeky three plus at the end. So, right. Yeah, this is now. This is looking bad now, isn't it? <laughs> Because it's just he's got the strength four there and the two tackle zones. I guess you've just got to go for a scatter play. I guess there's no. Yeah, I, I think I'm going for a scatter play. Yeah, and you've got you can free up this guy, um, but he's not. He can't get through. Uh, maybe if you pow him and block him, then he could blitz him and get through. But obviously you can't blitz, so you. Yeah, I guess you could dodge him. He could the strength five could block him and pow him. Then the warrior can block the guarder and pow. Well, no, just push him. And then then your strength five will be on two players. You want to try and get the strength five on two if you can. Mm -hmm. So so you like and this would be later in the turn. To be fair, after you've done all this shit up here. Um, but if he blocked him, he blocks him. Then then ideally you've got two people on the strength five, and then he can three plus through. So you can potentially get an extra guy into the ball at the end. But again, that would only be at the end of the turn. Uh, so for here, I guess you yeah, you just bring in a warrior, blitz with the other warrior, get a scatter, and see what happens. Standing him up's fine as well, and then just saving a warrior to go for the pickup. Nice cheeky. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Mr. Throw! That works great that you uh, only stood him up. I, for some reason, I wouldn't. I wanted to use the speedy boy. Um, oh, he just stood up. All oh, right, well, ignore what I said there. It's annoying because you can't tell that the guys have stood up, can you? Sometimes. Oh well, ignore all that I said. <laughs> all that stuff that I said. Completely ignore it. <laughs> oh, lovely. Lovely uh, one days there. Um, yeah, that was a horrific scatter, wasn't it? And yeah, that 2D. So I guess putting around the back looks pretty shit now because he's got the 1 in 9 dodge out, hasn't he? So maybe, yeah, maybe the second warrior should have gone in front of there or something. But then he could have just gone the other way. So I guess you weren't going to be able to keep, keep him under control wherever he went there. I guess we could go back. But at this point, the drive and game is looking yeah, over, isn't it? Yeah, that's over. Yeah. I think I try to follow up a little bit uh, still, but it's just 
easy 2-0. Yeah, I mean, you, you've got a 3 plus for 2D with tackle, which is alright, isn't it? So, but yeah. <laughs> Not looking good. I mean, the, the removal game is uh, actually working in the second yeah. uh, half of the half, but I I tend to not to be able to have a, hold my position good enough for removal game to kick in if it doesn't kick in from the beginning. Yeah. Uh, I get too impatient, move too, too much forward. Yeah, I would say that was fair. Yeah, I, th I think a lot of people tend to do that. You know, you have it's different, like with dwarves. With dwarves, they're so slow and don't have the strength that you've got to take, like, you know, every every forward square you can, I feel. Mm -hmm. um, whereas Chaos, with the with the movement 6 and the edge 3, you can leave it a bit later and, you know, you've got the support to, to flood through and stuff and, and screen, so you don't have to be grabbing as much territory as quickly as possible with Chaos. And especially, like, with that handoff play, that was a bit wild. It was a bit wild, the handoff play. I really didn't like that one. And getting forward, you know, there was really no need. You, you, you could have had the ball safer, and people, you just want the ball safe primarily, don't you? That's number one. And uh, and then, yeah, try not to commit. So that was that was a decision there to go for the two D without tackle, and obviously got the push. Um, and I didn't use my last reroll, I think. Yeah, no, I didn't use the last reroll. I would have, what I would have maybe wanted to have done, would be to go for the uh, the three plus mm. to hit with tackle. And then you know use the last reroll just to try and get him down and move everyone in first, and uh, really hope for that. But it's 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 fair not to like again. It's not. It's not like it's. Uh, it's right, and this isn't this isn't totally lost yet, is it? But it's just probably feeling like it. Yeah. Felt bad. Oh, frustration reroll there. Oh, oh, the frustration reroll. Because you could have taken the push, couldn't you? He can yeah. chain his guy out here. That was a that was a nice idea. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Um, oh, is this good? Is this good play by him? Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> I know I shouldn't be surprised, but that, that was good. That was some good. That was some good chaining to get this guy free, wasn't it? And then he's. Uh... I mean, it's not so good that he's given up again an easy two D on the ball. But he's he's got the he's no, no he's not defending at all. Oh, he, the dirty dog gets the one D pal. But still, um, relatively easy 2D, isn't it? Yeah, he hits the guard out of the way. Could have, could have also. I guess he's kind of being a canoring threat. Oh, double score. So. <laughs> oh well, that that's it then. <laughs> right. Well, um, there you go. That 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 was the replay analysis then. Um, yeah, that's it. Was that was that good for you? <laughs> that was very good for me. So basically, uh, to 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 sum up uh, uh, some of the uh, pointers you have, what you saw, what you think I should should look to for more. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Um, so I would say, yeah, like overall goal, like you need to think in terms of. Wolfbark talked about thinking turns in advance, and I don't, I don't actively think turns in advance. Act, I don't actively think it. I just kind of subconsciously do because of all the games that I've played. <laughs> but maybe you probably should try to think in advance if you, you know. But also just kind of think of. Think of your goal for the half and your um, each turn's goals and each half's goals, you know? So, like, mm -hmm. 
because that's what I was trying to say. Like, what what are you thinking of this term? What what are you trying to? Yeah, I'm I'm uh, way too many times. I'm just okay doing automatically some stuff without thinking about where I want to stand at the end of the term, at least. Yeah, yeah. You always want to think about at least how the end of this turn is going to look and and like what your goals are for the turn and and obviously each drive like you know because there was a point there where you made that attrition blitz mm -hmm. which really looked and like then, your goal for the drive was wait yeah for that the was absolutely half. okay yeah exactly it was absolutely my thinking at that point yeah but, but then, then you made the the dodge with the mighty blow yeah, instead exactly. of punching with yeah. him so yeah. so you remain consistent with your goals i would say for whatever they are because it's it's not it certainly wasn't wrong to go for attrition there, um, and yeah, just try to keep that in mind. I guess try to because it you know that you like with a bash team you always pretty much always want to be scoring turn eight. Um, mm. You'd only really be trying to score faster than that if you'd completely smashed him to pieces. Um, mm. But as it was, you 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 know you couldn't realistically hope to win this after the first half. Um, so your only hope was to was to stall till about turn eight, and you know you could score on turn seven if you have to or whatever, but your goal is a turn eight stall, isn't it? Um, and that's why. So that was that's why that handoff and Bez Ford was a bit was a bit wild because it just didn't. Yeah, exactly. It didn't really achieve. I could anything. have gotten it uh, safe enough without that. Yeah, and yeah, you just want really want to. Like I feel you want to kind of like you know push and pull them around if you can on offense, and you don't really have to get forward as you know urgent. There's no urgency in getting forward. You've got eight turns to score. In fact, it can be detrimental getting forward too early because then yeah, that's my that's my chance. thinking. Uh, uh, if I don't win the attrition game early, I get myself in trouble because I enter the opponent's half too early with a lot of my team. Yeah, so maybe yeah, try and be more bit more patient and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, okay. so does that sound good? Yeah, thank you very much, Jim. Brilliant. Was, uh, eye opening. <laughs> uh, when is your game today? Um, oh, I don't know. You have one? You don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'll, I'll wrap up the YouTube anyway. So thank you very much, uh, Nicholson, and hopefully um, everybody benefited from that, and especially you. Thank you very much. Stay fantastic. Bye. Leave a like and subscribe. Bye. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers.